Photographing star trails isn't that hard. What you need is a DSLR, tripod, remote control, and patience. Find yourself a spot on a really nice clear night and find your South Celestial Pole. It'll be near the Southern Cross. Point your camera toward that. Set your camera on 30 second exposures. Your ISO around about 800 to 900, uh, 1000. Once you set up like that, start taking some photographs. Take a few trial shots and have a look at them, see what they're coming out like. You don't want them too bright. If they're okay, start snapping. Set your control and sit back. For any sort of star trail, you'll want to shoot for at least half an hour. That's going to give you 60 photographs to stack together. Once you've got your photographs, go inside, download a program called Star Stacks. That's S-T-A-R-S-T-A-X. Star Stacks is a program that gets all your photos. You'll load all your photos into Star Stacks and you stack your photos on top of each other. Star Stacks does this for you very easy and it produces the trail that you see what I'm showing you here now. So there's a rough guide on how to do star trails. Good luck to it. And if you do produce any, post them up and let me see them because I love star trails and I love to see them. They've always fascinated me. They show us the distances we're traveling. They show us what's happening in the night sky when we're asleep. They show us things that will never happen again. Meteors. You see a meteor, you will never see a meteor in that exact spot, looking exactly the same again in your life or in another lifetime. That's one thing that fascinates me with nature. When you look at the sky, what you see in the sky, whether it be a cloud, a meteor, whatever, you will never see that again. You see that cloud, that shape in that cloud, you will never see that again. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Think of weather that way. Think of stars that way. Look at star trails and they show us how fast we're moving through space. How fast the Earth is spinning. And yet we don't feel that. That's what fascinates me with nature.